Welcome to The Theology Corner. I'm your host, J.D. Martin. It's been a while. I've missed you all, so it's good to be back. I don't, you don't realize how much you miss something until you, you step away a little bit, back up, and then you're like, wow, uh, I, I do miss this. I do like this, and, and I, I want to um, return to it. So I want to explain a little bit about uh, why I stepped back and kind of what's the plan for the future. I think periodically it's good to step back and reevaluate things, just to step back from something and, and look at it and you get a clear sight, you get a clear perspective. One thing that I don't want to do is I never want to um, neglect my pastoral responsibilities uh, that I'm preaching and, and I'm teaching. I never want to neglect uh, my uh, pastoral responsibilities in my own home with my, with my son and my children and ministering to them, being a good husband, being a good father, being a good Christian. That's, that's the first thing, right? The first thing that's most important is your relationship with God personally. And then your next thing that's most important is your relationship with God in the church. I mean, well, actually, let me back up. Personally, then within your family, okay, being a good father and um, being a good husband and raising your children in the fear and admonition of the Lord and washing your wives in the Word. I mean, listen, it does not matter. If you don't know Christ, nothing matters. And then if your family isn't blessed by your ministry— in, in your relationship with God, then, then nothing matters. You could be the most popular preacher. You could be a John MacArthur, a John Piper, R.C. Sproul. And if your children don't benefit from your ministry because you're too busy trying to be a John MacArthur, R.C. Sproul, a John Piper, these kind of individuals, but you're not blessing your, your actual family, then you're a failure. You're, you are not a success. You are a you're success to the world, but that's it. You are a walking figurehead in, in many respects. So the first thing is, are you in Christ? Do you have a relationship with Christ? The second thing is, are you a godly man within your home? Are you the priest of your own home and the, the pastor of your own home, preaching and teaching and blessing within uh, that sphere? The third most important thing is, what about your church? Does your church know you? Does your church b being blessed by your ministry? Are, are, are the pastoral team and, and really even just the lay members, are they like, are they saying, I am so glad that he's here because he's always here. He's, he's here on Wednesday nights. He's here on uh, every Sunday. He's here on Sunday evenings. When there's a potluck, he's bringing there. He, he's talking. He's hanging out with people who are kind of neglected or whatever else. Are you making a splash? Are you making an impact in your own church? Again, it doesn't matter what you're doing out there in the cyber world or how popular you are or, or what you're doing on Facebook or the internet. None of those things matter if your church doesn't know you and aren't blessed by your ministry. So uh, there's that. And then we do have this new sphere and this new ability to uh, be a blessing to uh, the internet community, Christians connected to the community. Then you could just think about, you know, maybe friends that you have that are far away that you can write letters to or, or whatever, people in, in, on the periphery or on the outside. But because of this technology, because of the sinfulness of man and all of those things, we often have it the opposite. Sometimes it can get so flipped that what's so important is the social media or the platform Form that we have outside the internet, YouTube, whatever it be, Facebook, that becomes the most important thing. And then it, the least important thing becomes our own walk with God or our, our family or the church. So the most important thing is the YouTube platform. And then usually you could just, every, then the church is the, the, the less is not, not as important to that, and then the family, and then your personal walk with God. Hopefully, there's some YouTube sensations, uh, that's what's happening, but it's even possible that even the walk with God is the last thing that's important, and these other things are even in front of that, but that's just completely opposite and not the way that we should have it. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to step back and make sure that that wasn't happening to me. I wanted to make sure that my relationship with God was, was solid, and it was, but I just wanted to step back and reevaluate that. What I was really more concerned about is my relationship uh, with uh, my family, make sure I'm not neglecting them, and my relationship with the church, making sure that I'm I'm doing the things that I that I should do there. So I stepped back, um, and and I think I think that those things are are doing well and, and doing healthy. And so I wanted to rejoin uh, the, the social media platform because this is a wonderful means to potentially be able to speak to people and to bless people that I otherwise would not have contact with. So that's, that's my intent. What I want to do um, moving on in the future of this channel is really to uh, produce content that is spiritually edifying to the body of Christ. Um, that's really always been my goal, but uh, now it's becoming more of my goal. Well, one of the, the, the great things about um, this channel and this ministry is I have not only one job, I have two jobs. I have a, a, a job 
um, with with the with the the private sector, right? The the secular world. If you want to think about that, I'm a tent maker, and I also have a, a job with my with my church. Uh, so I have uh, multiple streams of avenue, meaning that this is not about cash or, or any of that thing, and this is not about uh, popularity or none of those things. It's just the fact that th today we have this these great technology of of the internet, and I want to be a a blessing to as many people as I possibly can. What this means is then I don't need popularity. I don't need fame. I don't need to produce uh, things that will uh, will itch a certain um, constituent's ear or something like that. There, there's none of that. Um, if, if if I could just be a blessing to, to anybody, that's fine. I mean, think about the local church. Oftentimes the best churches are, are smaller, just in nature. They're smaller, and you could be uh, more intimate with with the people, and and that's basically the same philosophy here. I don't have to jump on the bandwagon of other things and and make controversial things or whatever um, to to get clicks. Instead, I can just focus on being helpful and being a blessing to the people that want me to be a blessing to them, um, which is which is really a wonderful and, and great opportunity. So that's really my focus in the future. Is saying, hey, how can I be a blessing to you all? How can I do? How can I say things, or how can I speak about things that that's that you want to hear about? And that's really going to be a blessing. And also, I don't want to be divisive. I don't want to be fighting things all the time. That's not what I'm doing in the local church. That's not what I'm doing in my life. I'm not always trying to throw rocks at things and and attack people. I have friends. Uh, that are have a wide spectrum of theology. I love theology. I love talking about theology. I think theology is important, but I don't want to become the divisive guy, the guy who's always having to battle people because that's another thing. That's not healthy for your soul. That's not the attitude I want. I want to foster. I want to foster an attitude of respect and dialogue and charity because that's what we could do. We could respectfully disagree and talk about these things, and I want to model that myself. So I don't want to be the guy who's on one string banjo that only attacks one thing, and, and the, he's obsessed with his denomination more than he is with Christ. And that's not that's not the case with me. I'm more obsessed with Jesus Christ and my denomination, whether it's a Baptist denomination or whatever you have it. I am much more concerned about following Christ and helping you. So that's kind of my direction. I want to, I need to uh, get that app uh, so that I can be more uh, abreast to the comments. I, I want to be more tied to the comments. I want to be uh, hearing your feedback more. I want to be doing more videos that you want to hear about, topics that you specifically want to hear that will be edifying and a blessing to you. That's that's one of the good things also, that the smaller the channel right now, I'm not saying I want the channel small, but one of the things that is, is good about the channel being a little bit smaller is that the, the likelihood of you putting a comment and me making a video of that comment is higher now um, because, you know, it, it, it just, it's just small and I can see the comments, but I do need to do better with that. I need to get a little YouTube uh, creator uh, app so that I could see those comments uh, more quickly and then make videos that can be uh, a help, a helping and a blessing to you all. So that's kind of my heart. I want to improve the channel. Um, I want to improve the content of the channel. I want to make it uh, more specific. I don't want to make it as polemic as it has been. Um, I, I just want to be uh, more helpful in that way. I want to be more interactive uh, in that way. And I just want, I, I do also just want um, better content. I want to have, uh, you know, better graphics. Is this background uh, good? Should I get a green screen, um, upgrading the camera, all kinds of variety of things to just make this content better. And, and please, you won't insult me by uh, letting me know in the comments of how I can make uh, the content of, of, of this video better, the audio better, whatever it is. I want to make this the, the best experience for you all because I really do care for you. I can tell you that when I pulled the when I pulled the plug temporarily, and it always was about planning to be temporarily. Uh, when I pulled it and I brought it back, there was a time period where all of the subscribers had disappeared, and I thought, oh no, this is I want to do a, a temporal sabbatical, not to to pull the plug. And uh, I, I really, my heart sank there. And and then when they returned, I said, praise the Lord. I was so happy to have it to have it back. So. And that's how I feel about you all, that I, I really appreciate you all. You've been here uh, since the whole journey, and I, I want to continue to improve the content and continue to to bless the 7,000. It's not about the crowds. It's not about the 5,000. It's not about uh, trying to uh, get the biggest crowd possible, but it's about blessing the 7,000 and being a blessing to you all. So uh, I look forward to talking to you. I look forward to um, you know trying to make this channel better, putting more 
more whatever, making a, a Facebook group potentially. Uh, I don't know. Just the, the ideas are, are limitless that, that we, can, we can make this channel better. We can mi make better content and we can just um, make it so that we're just helpful and a blessing, right? It's not about being right. It's not about attacking our brothers, but it's about making content that's a blessing and making content that you want to be a blessing to you. So I look forward to uh, seeing you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here for uh, as long as you have been. And I look forward to uh, spending more time with you and, and seeing you on the other side. Okay. God bless. Bye-bye.